Hello, people. Hi, how are you? <laughs> no, what was I going to do? Oh, sorry. <laughs> this week's video is about van hacks. It's about the little stuff that you would have never thought to buy for your van experience that make a big difference for us. It's about the things that we have in the van that we just wouldn't get rid of and the things that we use the most on a day-to-day -day basis. It's about all these little tools that we use every day that are literally game changers. Things that you can have in the van or things that you can buy when going camping in general. Yeah. Now, before we start, what? Is that a warning? It is a warning. We haven't received any money. No sponsors. No, no money, sponsorship. No nothing. We just really want to show you what it is, how we use it, and recommend things that we use the most. Just to help you guys. Just so, to help you guys. You ready? Yes. You have all your tools? I do. Okay. I like it when you put your face... Your, oh, wow. Mm. Okay, go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dancing to the music. Yay! Yay! Number one, these gel pads. These things are the bomb. They're basically just two sided gel pads. They're made of rubber. I don't know what they're made of. Um, you can cut them, and what they do is hold things in place when you're driving. So when we're driving, we don't need to take this off the counter because under is where we keep the gel pad we've had those we've had the van for what three years now mm -hmm. we've had those for three years and we didn't even change them yet they're just like super solid and robust they don't leave a mark they're just amazing see this bottle here is quite heavy it's been there for three years and we didn't even need to change the rubber you can cut them if the surface that you want to cover isn't that big and they are just insane we got them on amazon we'll be putting the link to that in the comments below i think they sell for like 13 or 15 dollars canadian and they come in a pack of 10. you can have them either transparent or black and they're just the bomb sticky gel pads i wonder if you can like <laughs> no no Atta, i want to try things put it put your face against the wall Atta, let me see <laughs> is it working it is. <laughs> Number two are these collapsible storage containers. When Dom and I first started van life, we used to throw out the food after each lunch, each meal, because we didn't have space to, to store these things in the van. We didn't have Tupperwares or any other storage containers. So now we got these things again on Amazon. The link will be below and they are insane. They're really just containers you open them and check this out wow oh, magic trick so they come in different dimensions i believe we bought a pack with like three different sizes one two and then the third one these are just really good for leftovers if you want to go camping if you want to go hiking and bring food with you now what i just discovered like a minute ago you know what that means dishwasher safe you can put utensils in there but you can't cut them I don't know what that means. I guess you can put them in waves. No, you can go surf with it. You can go surf with them. Yeah. You can go in the snow with them. In the them. snow with them. Yeah. I think that's a dishwasher. So we use this almost every day. And what I like the most about them, you fold them away and they they don't take a lot of space in our storage compartments. Love those things. Next time I will go surf with them. You do it, man. You go. Ta-da! And where do we put them? We put them right here. This one goes here. Voila! You're welcome. So van hack number three, the jet boil. This is probably the most epic piece of equipment we have in the van. Jet boils are usually used by hikers that go on long hikes, but since it's so efficient and compact, we use it in the van every day. The system is quite simple. You have a measuring cup here with a burner that attaches to the bottom of the jet boil, and all this system is plugged into a gas canister that you can fire up pretty easily. A single canister can boil up to 10 liters of water. So that's why we mainly use it for tea, coffee, rice, soup, and any other kind of light meal. So it's a very, very nice system to have, and it also sounds pretty damn epic. Shit boil. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> Ooh. 
Now, van life hack number four, a compact cooking set. Pots and pans are usually equipment that take a lot of space in a normal home and we cannot afford leaving all different pots and pans around in the little drawers we have here. And that's why we bought the all-in-one Lagostina camping cook set. It comes with a lot of different pieces like this first one, a 22 centimeter soda pan, a 20 centimeter skillet, a handle, lids of all kinds, 18 centimeter casserole, and with a 20 centimeter casserole. So you can basically cook anything you want with these pots and pans. What's also nice is that it comes with a removable handle. That way you can carry in and out of the kitchen all these very hot dishes you're trying to make without burning your hands. The feature I like the most about this tool set is that it also allows you to play drums like this. Can you feel it coming in the air tonight? Number five is this GSI stainless toaster. I know GSI outdoors are known for their camping necessities, accessories, items, but this thing is very cool. It's basically just a toaster. So Dom and I, big fans of Nutella banana bread in the morning. And Dom bought me this for my birthday, I believe it was two years ago, and we use it almost every day. So it has like a little mesh at the bottom that distributes the heat really, really well. Put it on the burner stove. Start that up. You put your bread. In the meantime, you cut your banana. And what is nice about this thing, it really takes like, it's, I think it's actually quicker than a real toaster at home. It has to be, it's propane. <laughs> This toaster by GSI is legend. Wait what for it. it. Dairy. <laughs> now number six is this Omnia stove. This is fairly new in the van. We got it two weeks ago and we just can't stop using it. It's from Sweden. And what it is is really just a stove. So everything that you can cook at home in a regular stove you can cook in here. It comes with a rack to cook bread, like you can cook your own bread in the van. It comes with a silicone liner. Oh, wow. Check this out. You can make muffins. Seriously, muffins in a camper van? Heck yeah. And you can put a lot of things in there. Uh, it also comes with a recipe cookbook. There are so many things in there. Thin pancake mix, uh, blue cheese and ham pie, seafood lasagna, Rice and chicken gratin, salmon pie. Ooh, salmon pie looks good. Check this out. So this is insane. You can actually cook everything in there. What you do is you just put it on top of the burner stove and you let it cook, you let it simmer for a while and you get amazing dishes. And again, super small, super compact. You just put it back in there. You put this here, you put this. You put this, you got the book, easy storage. And that is it. This is my stove. That easy. Van life hack number seven is this Lucy Solar String Light device. Hidden in this collapsible unit, you have an 18 foot long cord with 10 nodes of a hundred lumen each. I don't know what is a lumen, but it looks like it's very important to have when you're talking about lights. What's nice about this is that the device is chargeable via solar power. And if you don't have uh, sun, you can also charge it via USB. It provides a very nice and cozy atmosphere when we're eating inside the van or around the van because you have different modes. You have the flashlight mode. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? You have 
the low light mode, as you can see. You have the mid light mode and the highlight mode. Highlight mode. <laughs> and you also have the disco mode. <laughs> disco mode. <laughs> Anyways, it's a very nice device to have because it transforms any piece of land into a fairy tale. What are you doing? I'm hanging my lights because I want my campground to look like a fairy tale. Do I still have Nutella? You have some. Do I? Right here, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Number eight is this little thing. It sells from $5, again, from GSI Outdoors. What it is, is just a spatula on one side and a scraper on the other side. We use it as a scraper when we're lazy and we don't want to do the dishes. So what we'll do, we'll just scrape the food from the plates like this. And when we'll do the dishes in the afternoon, it'll be way easier because nothing sticks on the plates. It's also very, very nice if you are low on water consumption and you wanna save water. You can just scrape the food, it doesn't stick, and then you need less water to clean things. It's cool. So spatula on one side, scraper on the other. Very nice, sells for $5, super cheap. You put it in the counter and you're done. <laughs> did you throw it in the camera? <laughs> I did. Now van life hack number nine is a very easy and efficient one. It's this cutting board. Because we mainly use this as a cutting board to cut vegetables and other types of food, but we also use this as extra counter space. When we need to work on larger meals or when we have guests, we use this as much as all the rest of the countertops we have. And it's also very useful when you wanna hide dirty dishes or stuff that you want people to trip on, you just leave them there, put the cutting board on top, and invite people to use it as a counter space. So let's call this the cutting board counter. If you can have one in your van, it's gonna make your countertops very efficient and uh, you will have more space to do whatever you have to do in your kitchen. That's it. I'm doing the dishu. La dishu, la dishu, la dishu, la dishu, la dishu, la dishu. Now, van life hack number 10 is this collapsible coffee mug by Stojo. And the reason why we bought these is because they take almost no space in our storage compared to a normal coffee mug that isn't collapsible. The way it works is pretty simple. You just have to push on the bottom when you want to store it, put the plastic back in, and then seal it like this. And when you show up at a Starbucks or when you make your coffee in the morning, you just have to take it out like this, place the plastic like this, give your mug to the person at the restaurant and you can reuse it every day. What's also nice with these is that they're eco-friendly, so we don't have to buy a cup every time we order coffee or tea at a restaurant. We just use these. So this is at least 300 cups that I don't use every week every year because I have this so that's nice all right guys so these were the 10 van life hacks we wanted to share with you today they are very useful for us and uh, we sure hope they will be very useful for you as well as mentioned before all the links to these items are mm -hmm. in the description below if you want to see other van life hacks oh it's raining in the van we gotta we gotta hurry up if you want to see other van life hacks a couple of weeks ago we posted a video on hygiene showing oh, yeah. you where to go to the bathroom how to shower, how to do the dishes, the laundry, the shave, lots of hacks in that video. Yep. And if you want to share other hacks with us, please do. Always looking for ways to improve and in, uh, in such a tiny space. Yeah. So that's it. Reach out. Can you feel it coming in the air tonight? Oh, Lord. What I do is just that cup. I don't need to put water every time. I'll just put water when I'm done. So it's just way less water consumption. I believe I'm done this leg. So what I'll do, I'll use this again. 